Hi, I'm Mervyn from EcuTech. I'm here today to talk about ECU Connect, our new free to download iPhone and Android app. ECU Connect hardware, our Bluetooth vehicle interface, is available from EcuTech tuners worldwide. And today we're going to talk about the Nissan 370Z and Infinity models that are also fitted with this engine. So we've now taken our Bluetooth vehicle interface and we've plugged it in the vehicle's OBD2 socket. Take our mobile device, I'm using an iPhone but we could also use Android. Um, and we open the ECU Connect app. We see on the main menu here we've got My Car, Archive and Dealer Locator. We select the Dealer Locator, it shows us all our local dealers and we can filter that by vehicle type. Archive is where the log files are stored and the performance analyzer results are. And we can select uh, singular or multiple results and we can share them text message, email or straight onto Facebook. Go back, we go My Car. We're now going to connect to the Nissan 370Z. We've got standard features that are available for all 370Z and Infinity Power models. Uh, the standard features are the information, the data logging, the DTCs, Diagnostic Trouble Code Tool, uh, Performance Analyzer, the ECM tools and the Fuel Pump tools. These are standard features that work on all, all 370Z. You don't need Ecutech programmed ECU um, for these features. In addition, we've got the race ROM features, which is the map switching, the launch control, and the custom inputs. So these are Ecutech specific features that have to be enabled by your Ecutech tuner. So info at the top tells us about the engine ECU, and most importantly, whether it's got race ROM stalled in the ECU. So you can see at the bottom here, race ROM, app support, yes, so race ROM is installed in the ECU. Next one down the list is data login. So this enables you to data log all the standard factory parameters. Um, we also have, because we have race ROM installed, we can data log the custom Ecutech race ROM parameters. So you can see here we have the speed entity values. This is a race ROM feature and the ones in red are only available if you have race ROM in the ECU. Once you've selected the ones you'd like to log, you choose done. You start communication starts with the engine ECU and you can see if we scroll to the bottom here we're logging about 70 hertz 70 times a second so it's very fast data logging we can mark the log file if we're driving something happens we can mark it which makes it easier for data analysis later and if we turn it um, if we turn it landscape sorry uh, we have minimum and max added and we can clear that as well um, if needed Go back, next one on the list is the map switching. When we choose the map switching, it's being configured for four different map switch modes. We've got a road, a race, an economy, and a valet mode configured. And when we choose, say, map switch mode two, the rev counter on the vehicle will move to show which mode we've selected. So your, your map switching using your mobile device. Next item on the list is launch control. This is another Ecutech race one feature. Allows you to adjust the launch RPM. When we go in, you see we've got a slider currently five 5,400 RPM, simply reduce it down. The launch RPM is now 4,000. And the final one, custom inputs. And this is a new feature, it's quite unique to Ecutech. Um, never been anything like this before. So using your mobile device, we've got five custom inputs that can be configured by the tuner and adjusted with the phone. These can be set up as sliders, switches, list values and buttons. So you see in the top example, we have a slider and it's set up for traction control. This is not the factory traction control, which is quite aggressive and every time there's an element of wheel slip, it kills the performance. If you turn off the factory traction control, the tuner can now set up a throttle and ignition retard based traction control, configure how he likes and give the user the ability to simply adjust it with the phone. You don't want traction control, you want to do burnouts, sweep it to the left, sweep it to the right, full traction control, it's hardly going to let the car slip. Gives the power to the user to do what he wants. This particular 370Z has got a turbocharger on it. Um, we've created a closed loop boost control and we can adjust the amount of boost pressure that we'd like using the mobile device. So it might be far left, we've got actuator pressure 0.4 bar, fully to the right, 1.2 bar. You decide, just turn the boost pressure up and down as you like. 
Next one's called Throttle Response. We've configured this for four different drivability settings. This is changing the relationship between the axle pedal and the throttle opening, which is basically the torque of the engine. Here we have an economy mode, regular, a sport and a race. So in the race mode, it, the car will be much more aggressive, it'll be much sharper, reactive to the axle pedal position, whereas in economy, it's going to be a lot softer and less likely to accelerate, therefore saving us fuel. The next one is a fail safe. This has been set up as a simple switch. Turn it on and off. And this fail safe is set up for lean AFR and full power. This could be set up for coolant temperature. So if we want a track day, if the coolant temperature goes over say 110, that we could reduce the throttle opening until the car cools down. We can just turn this feature on and off when we want using a mobile device. The final one is, um, is a momentary switch and it's been set up for overboost. So when we push and hold the button, we could do something where we add another 0.2 bar, another 3 PSI to the boost pressure, or we could do it as a timer where we push the switch once and it runs for 10 or 15 seconds, giving us a bit of extra power just when we want it. Here's just some of the examples of how custom inputs can be used by the tuners to create unforeseen features using ECU Connect. This is custom inputs example two. In this example, we've set the custom inputs up to do various other things. When we choose custom inputs, we can see we've got two sliders, we've got a numerical value and two switches. On the top one, it's been configured using custom maps to adjust the VTC, the variable timing control on the engine. So basically, we can adjust um, an overall uh, trim for the valve angle, plus or minus 10 degrees. Next one down is the VVL. We can control the VVL live using our mobile device. Lock the car on the dyno, adjust the VVL, adjust the VTC to get the best power output. Next one again is a, a tuner tool, um, speed density correction. So if we want to increase or decrease the amount of speed density correction, we can do this using PCU Connect. Next to a setup of switches, the top one, that, of the two is fuel enrichment, simply turn it on and off. Maybe if the car is on a track day, it's getting a bit warm, we just want to add a bit of extra fuel. We could just, um, just add maybe 5% extra fuel. And the bottom one is a scenario maybe on forced induction where we've got water injection. Hot day again, you just want added protection. You can turn on and off the water injection um, using ECU Connect. All these features are available only because of custom inputs and custom maps. In this final custom inputs example, we've set up some uh, more unusual settings, but it shows the power of what you can do with custom inputs and custom maps. It gives, it gives the tuner the ability to create uh, previously um, unavailable features. So the top one we've set up as event selector. So this could be different tunes in different modes for maybe road, rally, race, or drag race. The tuner has the ability to change the ignition, the fuel, uh, the valve timing for any particular mode. Gives you an example of what you could set up. It could be for ice um, as well. Next one, exhaust screamer pipe. So this is something you could fit to the vehicle and using a solenoid, um, we can turn it on and off using ECU Connect. So literally when we turn it on, the solenoid's activated, we've got an exhaust bypass port. Our next example is a nitrous switch. If you've got nitrous fitted to your vehicle, you can arm and disarm the nitrous using ECU Connect and the custom inputs. It's become more popular in recent times using additional fuel on liftoff and ignition retard. You can add pops and bangs. Now, if you've got a full um, free flow exhaust system on the car, it can get a bit annoying when you lift off, it pops and bangs. So you can give the customer the ability to turn the feature to adjust the feature. Um, whereas on quiet, it's not going to do anything, it's not going to retard the time, it's not going to add fuel. And as you dial it up, you can simply add more fuel and put more retard in. And the final one demonstrates the, the momentary switch where we can push and hold. So it says flames. Um, in a previous example, it was overboost. This can be used to do whatever we want. This could be flames, could be driving an injector in the exhaust, squirting fuel, um, combined with something like a rev limit in a certain map switch mode, 
we could uh, make the car shoot some big flames if that's what you want to do.